Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, will this one hit like a hammer? Velvet Hammer 13 is an 8.5% barrel-aged sour brown ale from Arbor Brewing Company in Ypsilanti, Michigan. All right, you all know the line. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a good brown. And I've actually had a couple sour brown ales that have been surprisingly tasty, but to me, they really haven't carried that much of the brown ale flavor, and it's just been more of the sour. Now, I'm not really much into sours. I dip my toes a little bit with kettle sours, uh, maybe a Goza here or there, maybe the occasional Berliner Weiss, but straight up sours, I, I have to admit, I'm a little out of my league. Now, today I've got Velvet Hammer 13 from Arbor Brewing Company, and yeah, this is a, this is a thing I'm going to try with you guys here today. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to think. Again, this is really kind of uncharted territory for me. So let's take a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass. Fun fact, sour beers are generally made by letting wild yeast strains ferment the beer rather than using specific yeast strains to ferment like you do with an IPA or really any other type of beer. So let's take a look at the label and uh, we'll get it into a glass. So on the front, this is just a really plain, really striking actual, actually a really striking label. Uh, it has this white and red stripe on the side, like a brush stroke, and it says Arbor Brewing Company, established in 1995, and then it has in white and, white and black, it says VH, which stands for Velvet Hammer. This is Velvet Hammer, Hammer number 13. It's a barrel-aged sour brown ale, as I mentioned before. There's no ABV information in on this bottle at all. Uh, I picked this up, actually, when I picked up the vanilla black note. Um, so they were picked up at the same time. They roughly came out, should be, have been right around the same date, actually. And it has a government warning. It says brewed and bottled by our brewing company in Ypsilanti, Michigan. This is one pint and 0.9 fluid ounces. So just about over a pint. It is a large looking bottle, though. And there is no dating information on here. Like I said, I got it at the same time I got Vanilla Black Note. That was like mid-December. Um, just, you know, if you watch the Vanilla Black Note video, it would have... I would have picked this up the weekend that, or the week before I made that video. So all about the same time. This is a cap, as you can see from the top, it's got a really, again, it's a really striking label. It's really minimal, which I love. Uh, on the top, the cap is the Arbor Brewing Company, solar powered cap, it's a black cap with the tree on it in gold, uh, mitten made, solar powered. So that's a pretty cool cap. And uh, as far as caps go, let's go ahead and crack this open and uh, we'll set it to the side. I almost am getting this kind of aroma of coffee, but let's, it's actually fizzing up here in the neck and hopefully it's gonna settle down a little bit. Smells very sour. Has that kind of biting sour aroma. It's not necessarily vinegar, but it's kind of like on that wavelength. It's just got a really spicy kind of sour smell to it. And I don't mean spicy like cinnamon or any kind of, but it just like, it, 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 you can smell it, right? It's very sour smelling. So let's go ahead and pour this. So it's coming out surprisingly brown out of the bottle and a lot of head, a lot of bubbles so far. I'm going to slow down on the pour because I didn't want it to overflow. But yeah, so head is really fizzy. It's really kind of rose up really quickly. I was kind of surprised it actually came that much out. And I guess I do have a little bit about, you know, this much of the bottle left. Uh, I don't know how much I put in here. I'll probably fill it up some more. But the head is, as you can see from the overhead, it's dissipating fairly quickly. Um, I, I don't have much experience with sours, so I don't know if they usually have a lot of head, but it's just off white. It's a little bit darker white. It's maybe a little bit of a tan color. Uh, it's not quite white. It's not coffee colored. It's not khaki colored, but it's like a tan kind of off white color and holding it up to the light. Uh, it's actually pretty thick. It's pretty dark. It's a really light kind of brown around the bottom and the bulb of this glass. And I'm going to pour a little bit more. I'm going to be brave because, again, I, I'm not a big sour guy, but I'm going to try this. because, I've, Like I said, I've had a few sour browns, and I've, I've actually enjoyed them a little bit, uh, you know, for the most part. So let's put a better nose here on the glass. Yeah, getting, again, more of that kind of um, really striking kind of sour note to it. It's got like an acidic kind of smell to it. I don't really have like the palate or the, the nose for sour, so I can't really describe everything that I'd like to describe, but what I can tell you is it's kind of almost vinegar-like. Um, it is sour, like you can tell when you've smelled a sour beer, you know what they smell like. This smells like that. The head has become really kind of soft looking. 
and uh, I'm really just over describing it because I'm kind of afraid almost to drink this. So I'm going to go ahead and down the hatch. Cheers. Wow. I say wow a lot. I was editing all the 2019 videos and I noticed I was going to make a montage of all the times I said wow. But wow, this deserves a wow. preface this by saying I'm not a big sour guy, but this is actually pretty good. Um, it's really sour. It has a really biting, almost um, apple, kind of apple vinegar kind of um, bite on the on the start, right? So when you when you take a real, you know, swig like that, you just get this really crisp mouth, um, really crisp taste. The mouth feels light. It's not like medium or heavy. I don't really pick up any characteristics that I would say that this is like a brown. I don't really know, um, you know, what, how this relates to a brown other than it bring, being maybe starting off as a brown and then being fermented by a wild strain, you know, to pick up that, that all the other flavors that you're getting the sourness, but I don't know why it starts as a brown and then goes to sour. I don't know if that's like it picks up more of the flavor. I, I really don't, can't explain that to you. If you know anything about that, leave me a comment down below and kind of maybe school me on it a little bit. It's got this really biting, uh, sour punch in the mouth it, on the tongue at first, but then it has almost this, this, this just really kind of nice sweetness in there as well. Like you get the really sour up front, and it's surprisingly, not surprisingly, it's very, it's got that acidic quality to it, but it also has this dryness. But after that sourness up front, you get that kind of like apple, puckery, kind of sour flavor. There's a sweetness that comes through that's really, uh, I can really appreciate. Like it's, it's something that you have to, you have to work for it. It's not, it's not so accessible like most, you know, beer that you get. It's like, oh, I have an IPA or a New England style IPA or whatever I'm generally used to tasting or a stout or whatever. And you get that sweetness and it just kind of presents it to you on a platter and it's all there for you and it all just kind of works out. This, uh, there's that sourness that just kind of really just punches you in the mouth at first and it's almost kind of like, oh, you know, like you, you squint your eyes and you kind of pucker up a little bit. But then as it settles, you get the sweetness that comes through. It's almost like a, and maybe this is where the brown comes into play. It's almost this caramel kind of sweetness that's in there that's underneath all that bitterness and all that sourness. It's just, it's, you have to work for it, but it's there and it, it kind of, it pays off. I didn't know what to think afterwards and you take that drink and it dries out in your mouth. You want to kind of like, you know, you're kind of puckering and you're kind of like slapping your tongue. I'm slapping the, my tongue against the roof of my mouth to kind of pull back any kind of moisture that's there because it kind of takes that all away. And then the aftertaste is this, um, I don't know, it's kind of like, a, it, there's a sourness in there, but it's almost kind of like a bready, kind of yeasty quality in there as well. I didn't know before this came out and I saw it on the shelf, I didn't know that Arbor had any sours, that they had done a series, this Velvet Hammer series. And I guess they're different every time. Like they, they, I don't know if they're always sour browns or if they're, you know, this other stuff. This says barrel aged, and I don't know if barrel aged, like, I guess there's a bit of an oaky kind of quality in there, but I don't know if when they say barrel aged, if it's barrel aged in some kind of, um, you know, like a bourbon barrel or a gin barrel, you know, if it's, if it's aged or anything like that, I'm not really picking up on any, any of that. I guess the finish, there's a bit of like an oaky quality to it. as it kind of sits on my tongue, maybe I'm getting kind of a woodsy, uh, oaky kind of barrel quality. And, I, but I'm really kind of drawing it, you know, grasping at straws to kind of pick that out at, you know, at all. But I'm, I'm really surprised that I in, am enjoying this quite as, as much as I am. I, I didn't think that this is something that number one, I would be, uh, you know, enjoying. And number two, I would be pouring the rest of the bottle, you know, into my glass on this video. It's, it's just got, again, it's like sour at front, but you just have to work for that sweetness that is in there. And there's that kind of that apple, you know, sour apple kind of quality to it. 
But again, underneath all that lies this really nice crisp sweetness that kind of starts to, it starts to come out, you know, on the swallow, on the, on the, not so much on the aftertaste, but on that swallow, you start to get it as it hits different parts of your tongue, you get different kind of elements to it. And yeah, I'm just really surprised. I mean, this is probably the most sour I've dealt, I've dove into on the channel and it's paid off. I, I actually kind of want to try other sours. My palate is so, this is so foreign to me trying a beer like this that it's kind of got me excited that there's this whole other world out there of beers that I haven't tried. I know, you know, obviously Jolly Pumpkin is huge in the area. They're a really big, you know, sour beer maker uh, in the space and they're in Michigan, they're, they're native to Michigan. So maybe you'll start seeing more Jolly Pumpkin stuff. I'm, I'm just really kind of excited. This is, I'm really surprised by this beer and I'm excited to try more sours in this kind of style. All right, friends, that has been Velvet Hammer 13 from Arbor Brewing Company in Ypsilanti. Have you had this? Have you had any of the other Velvet Hammers? Do you have a favorite sour? Is there maybe another sour that I should try that's, that's kind of accessible that'll get me a little bit deeper and help me wet my whistle? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. So I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm always trying something new, always willing to try stuff that maybe not, might not fit in my comfort zone is proof positive by this. And, and you, it's all free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting notifications from the channel. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>